Hi, I'm Dan Ryder Zebras. Um, well, I introduced you to the Zebras briefly uh, all those many months ago. Uh, but now I'm back just to give you a little bit of an update on how they're settling in, how they're getting on. Um, so if you can remember, we've got Zena here, our youngster, and over my other shoulder, we've got Kelsey. Um, now, if you've already been to visit us and seen these beautiful animals, uh, you may think that it's quite difficult to tell them apart. Um, it's actually really easy to tell them apart. Uh, at this stage, Zena is smaller. She's, she's the little baby, um, so you can tell herself she's, she's got that little baby face. Um, but the easiest way to tell them apart is by looking at their mane. So if you see Kelsey here, her mane has got a little bit of a gap in it. Uh, so just past her ears, she's got a little bit of a gap in her mane. Uh, and that's due to the fact of her history. Now, Kelsey is 15 years old. And originally, she was actually uh, a circus zebra. Um, so she came to us from, from another collection, but originally she was actually in the circus. So the years of wearing the headdress have actually worn that mane away, so that's why she's got that gap. Um, but those are distant memories for her. Now she's, she's here with us at Bill um, and living the high life uh, alongside, alongside Zena. And as you can see, their confidence is growing, and it's growing every single day uh, that they're with us. Uh, when we first got them, we had to uh, adjust them into going into the stables at night uh, in a brand new environment, uh, a brand new home if you like. Um, and that takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, but now they're going in really, really well. Um, and it's really important that, that we can actually move these animals. Um, now, these are absolutely stunning animals, very iconic in the African landscape. Um, and you see, all these behaviours that they're doing right now, they will exhibit that out there in the wild. You can see Zena is very, very wary, and that's really important. This is a prey animal, they have to be wary. Um, and at the end of the day, I'm a predator coming into their environment, so I have to get them used to the fact of I'm not going to do them any harm. Um, and that's what our bin keepers have been working really, really hard to achieve. Uh, and that's why they're, they're so confident, um, like you see here. So um, they're doing really well. Uh, no problems with these guys. So uh, February comes along, the grass will be lush, and these guys will be loving it, living the dream.